Video lecture 3.7, polar high pressure cells. Here in the white box, the location of the polar high pressure, and so because it's so cold uh, here, you got that cold, heavy, dense air creating that high pressure, uh, that thermal high pressure zone that dominates here year round. The polar high pressure cells, one of the characteristics that we actually find in the poles, because there's an ice sheet there, people think, well, it's wet, a lot of precipitation, but high pressure zones uh, characteristic are quite dry. And so actually at the poles, we find very, very, very dry conditions. Uh, and so that makes sense because it's very, very cold, dense air that descends, and we're not going to get any of those precipitation characteristics that we find here. Uh, and so essentially what we find, why we have that you know, thick sheet of ice is accumulation of very minimal amounts of precipitation over uh, hundreds of thousands of years. A uh, characteristic we find is the production of the easterlies. Uh, so coming out of the polar high pressure, if we go back and look at those arrows, uh, coming out of the polar high pressure, we have a, a east to west pattern. Uh, whereas to the south, coming out of the solar, uh, high, solar uh, high pressure in the northern hemisphere uh, in the mid-latitudes, we have that west to east uh, pattern. So we have the easterlies in both northern and southern hemisphere close to uh, the poles.